Hi, Bill Playball, facility director for Sizer. Good morning, and if you're looking at me, it means you're either in the gym or at home and you're in training. For whatever capacity that includes, welcome back. It's great to have you. My purpose this morning, and hey, guess what? Let's take this off, because Liz is 10 feet away and we're on the outside. Hello! Hi, Liz. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. My purpose here is to explain HRU-1, Heating Recovery Unit 1, which services 75% of our activities here involving students, which most of you will be here. And it's very similar to the other units, but let's, we only have time to look at this unit. What I want to say to you is that being five years old, this building is subject to the most complete and update ASHRAE standards. ASHRAE stands for the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers. So we are up to a modern standard. We use Can Canistraro um, ink for our, our, our maintenance and our service. And I use the best technician that I know of. He does all the cool places here in Central Mass. And Jeff is the best. And I, we're so glad to have him and their company on board. So given that, I'm gonna be opening up some doors and just showing you what this unit can do, what it's all about. A footnote, we have not done an exhaustive study to quantify the air changes that exactly occur within your space. I can only quantify and tell you and testify, whatever you wanna use for that word, that this is built to a modern ASHRAE standard. And if it didn't give requisite air to a space, it couldn't, we couldn't have opened the building. So with that said, let's open some doors and understand a little bit about this unit. How am I doing, Liz? Wonderful. Okay, I need a little, need a little push, <laughs> push back on that. So what we have here, and can you see that as best you can? What we have is a large 20 horsepower motor. This is our exhaust fan. Very large impeller, you see it's double belted. Up above it, you see incoming air with initial, with initial stage of pleated air filters. That's just to catch the larger particulates. So you see the size and the strength of these systems that are very robust, bringing in and exhausting air. The, uh, the intake motor is actually down on the other end. This one brings, brings air out through here. So that's very important to know. The next door, door number two. Do, 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 do. What you're looking at is a very large energy wheel. It's how we keep up to a standard of efficiency regarding energy. So exhaust air is coming through here and out that chute. Exhaust air has has value and heat in it. So when this wheel turns, and it turns very rapidly, it's capturing the heat of the air coming, the stale air coming from your classrooms, coming up to here, and incoming air is capturing that heat and taking it back into the building. Now, when we talk about Wednesdays, which will be deep cleaning days, what we'll do is actually run these units with a couple of doors open and use one of our disinfectants that's food safe. It uses lactic acid and citric acid. And we'll treat the energy wheel. We'll let the system run through and dispel and disperse that uh, disinfectant amongst all the, uh, all the uh, chutes. So they'll be, all the ductwork, so they'll be disinfected. We'll do that for about five minutes. And that should give us a thorough disinfection of those surfaces. So energy wheel, remember that when we're thinking about how much energy we're using, I want you to think about how much energy we're saving. Now this is very important. This is a top of the line cam fill air filter. This is MERV 14. Most schools are struggling for a MERV 13. Uh, hospitals can use this type. You can see the pleats, see the huge amount of air surfaces these provide. 
that's what we're using. We these are rated to go without pre-filters, normally a pre-filter. Another one. <laughs> normally a pre-filter would go in this rack, but we really don't need that because these will last uh, a year. What we pledge to do for you is change them three times a year, okay? They'll be changed three times a year. And I want you to know that. They seal very tightly in between each other because they're gasketed. So there's very little chance that a lot of air is going to get around these. Another thing I want you to know that we're going to be doing is adding ionization racks in here to electro electrostatically charge the area where air flow is most prevalent just ahead of these filters. What that's going to do is cause small particles like viruses to stick to larger particles and be more readily captured in, uh, in these filters. So that will be done very soon. Technically it's not been voted on. I can't see I, yet, so I can't see our, our people saying no because this is an important addition. But that's coming up and should be finished within about a month and a half. So that's coming up. I'm glad Sizer is considering that and willing to spend that money because it's important. Intake motor, 20 horse, huge squirrel cage, blower, double belts, uh, very robust, very robust. And this just has the heating coil. This isn't anything I need to talk about. I'm just showing you what's here. Now this is this is worth talking about. This are our electronic controls for our DizTech building management system or energy management system. We can dial in anything we need to. Now I'm going to tell you, I know that three of your classrooms with this unit are suffering from chronic overheating in the wintertime. That is a radiation and occupancy sensor problem that I promise you we're going to fix this one. Okay? You know if I get on something, I'm like a dog with a bone. <laughs> we will fix that this winter. But it is not uh, symptomatic of this unit sending in overheated air to you. This unit constantly sends in a lot of air and air changes. And that you know how important that is for that. When I asked Jeff, our technician, who has two little girls, six and four, I said, your little girls are going to go to school. And he just interrupted me and said, my daughters don't have anything like this. They're relying on an open window. He said, I'd love to have this system for my kids. That's all I need to hear. So on the end, we have a large compressor and two smaller compressors that are staged to give you cooling. This has been running pretty much flawlessly. Uh, remember, we shut everything down in March. and. You know, it, it, the filters, as you saw, are really clean. So, you know, we're due to change them in about, probably about two and a half months because they haven't been running. So this system is up and running and ready to serve you. Uh, can you pan around and just show the other three units? Yeah. Those are other three units. They're all by Daikin. And that large gray unit on the end of the gym is part of the split system that delivers air conditioning. I've had that running for two days. Uh, Jeff has made a relay fix on that, so air conditioning to the gym should be non-stop now. And I'm crossing my fingers as I see that, as I say that. Uh, let's walk over here and show the size of this, because I've got something to say about the size. Most of our systems, if not all of them, are slightly oversized. What I can compare this to, if I put a fifth wheel hitch on it, it would almost be as big as Brenda Jones's fifth wheel camper. Now, I know she's going to say, no, but mine's bigger, but what's a few million cubic feet of most friends? <laughs> With that said, I appreciate all your concerns, all your questions regarding anything HVAC, anything maintenance-wise. I know for some of you, I know for all of us, this will be a difficult year. I also know that routines may be out somewhat. Sense of well-being, that may be different from all of us, but my door is always open 
And if I can answer a question for you that will help get you through your day, please call me, email me, come down for a visit, and I'll do the best I can. I think that's what we're all going to be doing this year, the best we can. And I know that at Sizer, that's going to be more than enough to get through this year because we need each other profusely. With that, I'm going to end this video. Thank you, Liz. Everybody have a great training. It's going to be so good to see you again.